Hey everybody and welcome back to a new vlog. So it's Saturday today, which is one of our only like free days to actually work because you know in Germany you gotta be quieter on Sundays. So we've been doing a lot of garden work this morning. I still need to study a lot this afternoon, but that's fine. Like I'm not really stressed about my next test, not anymore. So we were doing a ton of work and now we need to go to the garden center. Are we going to the garden center or the oh, hardware yeah. store? Both. Okay, so we're gonna go to the garden center and the hardware store. We need to pick up a few things. Let me show you what we've done so far. Gosh, these people are so loud. There's a wedding going on. Oh, weddings. Okay, so we were working on this big planter. This one I really like, it's my favorite because we used it from like a really old like wooden panel. But the problem is, is that this isn't like, there's no nails or anything in it. So the whole back panel like fell down. So we had to like put it back together. We did that, that's good though. We planted the tomatoes. And we also have these tomatoes, so we're gonna have a ton of tomatoes this year. I also planted these zucchinis. We need to get a pot to go here. That's so much tennessee. what we needed from Bauhaus. We were at Bauhaus, naturally had to stop to get some bread from the bakery there. And now we're on our way to the garden center to look for a pot. Oh, the other thing is that you can see in the back, I scored the best basket and I'm so happy about it. Got a basket from a thrift store. We went in originally to look if they would have a pot because we knew that they were gonna be way less expensive <laughs> or at least that's what I told my husband really I just wanted to go and look at baskets and they had the best basket there so I'll have to show you guys later when we get back all right so we just got back from town and let me show you guys what we got we got some great things that I'm so excited about look at this basket that we found I am over the moon excited about this. I have been wanting like a really big basket for so long and we got it for like eight euros and I'm super happy about it. And then we found these two little cups and I didn't realize at first, I just thought they were cute. So they're made in Germany and I think they're really nice. I know that my mother-in-law has a couple from here. So I think they're really nice and they were like a euro each. This is just some like, screws and bits for working outside but guys <laughs> I am so happy about this basket I remember looking online at baskets and they're like so expensive so expensive I am amazed that we were able to get this one because it's in really good condition it was only eight euros <laughs> I'm so happy about it <laughs> the other thing we got is two of these we wanted some that were rectangular so they wouldn't like block the doorway too much. Unfortunately, we had to get plastic ones, but these are the only ones that came in this shape and that also weren't like a million dollars. So one for that side and then one for this side. And then we're going to build our little trellis to go up and around the sofa. So that is what we'll be working on next, I guess. guys so it's now the next day it's Sunday today and I'm, I think I was pretty productive today I was just studying a lot so I studied for one unit for my exam coming up this week and then during like my study breaks I've been doing a little bit of gardening and like cleaning the flat so 
I think that was time very well spent. I was able to get a workout in, I showered, and then after that, I've just been working on practice tests for this exam coming up. And, you know, like the like the last one, I'm confident that I'm not gonna fail. I think the, the biggest thing that I've noticed from these practice tests is my spelling. So my husband was saying like, he thinks that I'll do really good for like my end exam because it's a spoken exam. Because I can say the things, but I, I don't know, the spelling just gets to me sometimes and I don't know how strict the teacher is going to be with spelling. So another thing is that last night I was studying late into the night and my husband, he was so kind. He was, he's been helping me so much during this time. He's been helping me make these practice tests and also when I was studying last night, he finished working on the balcony. So I wanted to show you guys the new and improved balcony. So coming out the door, the first thing you'll notice is here, this is one of the new planters that we got and our cucumber plants. Here we have our very sad roses and I think we're just gonna totally cut them back like completely because we were at the garden center yesterday and all the roses look so nice and ours are, I mean like there's a few branches that are okay but most of it is like this. We have our blueberry bush which is doing very well. On the other side we planted our beans and then this is the big new thing. We built this last night to go over the sofa and it fits perfectly. I, I'm just so, so excited about it. And when these start like growing up the sides, it's just gonna look magical. We still have a little bit of work to do on this bed for our tomatoes. With these really big sticks, we're going to be building like a support structure for them. And then we also had to repair the bed because as you can see it was kind of falling apart we repurposed this from some old like wooden panels so we had to keep it alive and then I also planted out my zucchinis so it's all super exciting and I'm just so excited for summer when we can have our tomatoes and our cucumbers and like I hope it works out hopefully we have better weather this summer than last summer but feeling feeling hopeful. Good morning everybody. So it's now Monday morning. Like pretty much all afternoon I was just studying and I think I did a lot. I went through two whole decks of um, flashcards on Anki which usually it's difficult for me to get through one in a day but I got through two and then I was writing out a whole bunch of practice tests. It was enlightening to see what I still need to practice. For example, the angle of the humerus. So there's three different angles on the humerus bone, which is right here. And we need to know what the angles are. And we also need to know what the axes are for the different angles. And I did not study that for some reason. It just got buried in my notes and I didn't study it. So I'm working on doing that now. I added them to my flashcards, so I'll be able to review them again. I'll probably do my flashcards after school today. But guys, I'm telling you, practice tests, practice, practice, practice tests are so, are so good, are so good because they really give you um, like examples of what your questions could look like and then you'll just be so much more prepared. Like, I'll be honest, on these practice tests, I didn't do that great and that's okay because it's a learning experience and the other thing is that you know when you're studying from flashcards you're just looking at the words or speaking out the words but actually like writing them down in a practice test when you're kind of set it up to be almost like a test scenario so for me i'm not playing music while i do practice tests i'm just in my room i have my headphones in to kind of try and block out some of the other noise and i try and simulate the feeling of a test and then you know it's different from when you're just like casually writing out your notes with music um it is a little different <laughs> also i know from zach hiley he's another youtuber that makes lots of studying videos and he said that flashcards which is active recall and practice tests those are some of the best ways to study so i'm really happy that i was able to do those but I still need to do some studying tonight for the test tomorrow. 
Also, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a hair update. So I think the color, like the black, has faded a bit. And now it's more like a really, really, really dark brown or like a black brown almost. But I'm liking this so much more than the black, honestly. And I think it's more flattering for my face and everything. The other thing I'm doing is I'm growing out my bangs for the summer because before I had like full front bangs and in the summer it's gonna be so hot and when I have to go to school and I have to wear my wear my hair as I do I think it's just gonna be not nice when I have a front bang and it's all like sweaty sticking to my forehead that's not nice so I'm growing them out for the summer and I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable with my face right now. Before I was trying to like cover my forehead, I thought I had like a big forehead, which I mean, I have like a, I have like a four finger forehead, you know? So it's not, it's not small, but I think now with the curtain bang, I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like it doesn't just cut my face in half. I feel like it's a, maybe a little more flattering, but honestly, I'm still, I'm still just growing out my bangs. I just parted them and putting them to the side a little bit more. So hopefully in a couple months they will be like proper curtain bangs and then I'll actually be able to style them how people with curtain bangs style them. So I actually got, let me show you guys actually. So I got this hair tool which was everywhere on TikTok and I saw these girls they, they used it to style their curtain bangs, so they did their bangs like this. And what it is, it's like a curling blow dryer, I guess. So it shoots out hot air, just like a blow dryer. But of course, it's like a round brush. So I think this was kind of made to do like at-home blowouts. But the thing is, is that I feel like I haven't really had the time to actually do it you know it's like i was considering trying it out today but it's like i have one class and then i have gym class right away so is it worth it to do so i think this weekend is going to be a lot less stressful for me i do have another exam coming up next week but it's not as like heavy as anatomy so i think i can put aside a couple hours to figuring this out because I really want to use it because on TikTok when they were using it their hair looked so like beautiful afterwards and there were these like tricks that you can use and I, I just want to sit down and like figure it out so that I can actually use it more. When I first got it I was playing with it just a little bit but I need to figure it out and then I can actually use it more efficiently before going to school. So I need to finish getting ready to go to school. I still need to have some breakfast and then I'll probably go there a little bit early. So I hope you guys liked this vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you are at all interested in physiotherapy here in Germany or just if you're interested in any of my adventures living here abroad in Germany, away from my family, studying in my second language. It will help out my channel a whole lot. So make sure you are subscribed and you give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.